Janine, aka Snow Gardener 307 here. I want to show you guys really quick um, what my freezers and my messy pantry look like before I go shopping because this month I am going to be doing a freezer challenge. So let me go ahead and turn you around. I will show you my pantry, my freezers, my fridge, just so you know they are probably not organized, they're probably not clean, so judge if you must. Okay, so this is my fridge inside of the house. And so you can see we still have quite a bit of food in there. You'll notice that there's not much produce down there. There is some, looks like some lettuce, some green onions, and some celery. And that's it. And a couple apples in there. And some leftovers and such. So let me show you what my freezer looks like. So we've got our freezer here. You can see it's still very, very full. Um, these are the frozen meals for the kids if they want. This is my bread and breakfast shelf right here. So we pull off of that all the time. And this is, um, it's got some meat on there. It's also got some leftovers. I still haven't tried that Halo Top peanut butter cup. I'll let you guys know how that is. And the mason jar is the pumpkin shake that I made if you watch that. These right here, this is on the meal plan for this upcoming week. So I went ahead and pulled them into this front freezer so they're easier to find. Okay. I will be right okay. back. And here we are in the extra refrigerator that we have in our laundry room. And so you can probably hear my laundry in the dryer. You can see we have quite a bit of meat still up in here. Um, this is cream and mushroom and on the shelf actually there is more cream and mushroom. I've got some raspberry and strawberry jam. We've got big things of hot dogs left. A little bit of the green chilies that I roasted myself. I'm going to need to do some more of those. And then up in here, we've still got two blueberry waffles. This is a pack of chicken, um, a thing of sugar-free Cool Whip. This is some pork for the roast or for the smoker. In the back, which are hard to see, there are two packages of hamburger patties, and this is all sausage. Then we've got some ribs. We've got um, one thing of regular burger, and this is deer burger here. And we've got deer steak, and we have got one kielbasa sausage left and we've got some meatballs and we are going to be using the meatballs in the meal plan this week. All right, let me take you to the last freezer. And here is a small fridge that goes with that freezer we were just in. These are my bagel thins and my, oops, my bagel thins, my Quest shakes, my Cool Whip, my yogurt. Um, but back here I do have a big bag of cheese. We've got a big thing of Coke. We've got more cheese in here, plenty of cheese. Um, we do have almost a dozen eggs in the front fridge, so uh, this will be enough for that. And then I have got my tor my tortillas. I've got one sandwich then. This is my son's fruit cocktail or my daughter's. And then I have got two unsweetened almond milks. And I've got these sodas. Let me go ahead and pull that one out. Down here is adult beverages. And so let's see what we've got here. I've got another sugar-free pudding, so I'm good there. I've got butter, I've got laughing cow, I've got cream cheese, I've got some cinnamon rolls, maybe I'll cook one of those up for my kids tonight, um, some iced tea, things like that. So that is what we've got in this fridge. Okay, everyone, here we are in the pantry, and you can see I've got plenty of cereal up in there. Um, I've got one thing of coffee there, then I've got all of my baking stuff, my seasonings, all of that stuff. I have got um, some chips up there, more baking stuff, and then uh, this side of the pantry is non-food stuff, so I'm not going to show you guys that. And then on this shelf right here, we've got plenty of mac and cheese, we have got pasta, we have got hamburger helper, and quick meals back there. We have got sauces back here, so we've got some spaghetti sauces back there. We've got salsas. Then we've got still plenty of our canned foods that we can ourselves. I've still got some Weight Watcher snacks. We still have Kodiak cakes, pancake mix, all of that stuff. My baking basket is overflowing, so I've got plenty of that. Um, this is our pasta and rice basket. There's still plenty in there. And then we go down to our snack shelf, and you can see there is still plenty of snacks here. Um, it's not overflowing, but that is absolutely fine. In the basket, we've got some open small bags of chips. I've got some rice cakes. We've got a couple of the noodle things, some goldfish. We've got puddings. I've got still got sugar-free 
uh, fruit. We've got Chex Mix, Gardettos, stuff like that there. I've got Jello. We've got plenty of crackers. This bowl right here, um, I started doing this to make it easier just for people to grab. So we've got some crackers. We've got some granola bars. Then down here, we've got our canned goods. And you can see that there is plenty of food on these shelves. There is no reason to go crazy and buy a lot of food. So uh, this is what we're starting with before I go shopping. And to let you guys know, right there, we still have a couple things of soda, but I most likely am going to be buying more okay, soda. Here we are out in the garage in the last freezer. So we have got more hot dogs out here. We've got sausages. I've got a regular thing of Cool Whip. This is just some pork fat from the pig we bought this year. I've got some rolls. This is wedding cake, so that doesn't count. I have got four loaves of white bread. And then in here, this is all pork up here, I believe. This is all sausage. We've got pork chops. We've got more sausage back there. That, which I don't think you guys can see because my camera is not focusing. There we go. Is bacon. And this is all from the pig we bought this year. So that's the bacon that we have. And then we've got chicken. This is all chicken right here. We have got vegetables right here. We've got frozen meals, um, extra tortillas there. In the back, we have got frozen potatoes. And let's see what else do we have. Oh, pepperoni. We've got those big things of pepperoni. Wow, my phone does not like focusing on this. There we go. Sorry about that, you guys. And then down here, we have got more pork right here. Um, this is a big beef roast right here. Those are ham. So all of this is from the pork. And then right there, whew, I'm really messing with my camera. Those are frozen meals that are already ready to go. So I looked and I've got beef stew. I've got taco soup. I have got chicken and dumplings, taco meat, spaghetti sauce. Those are all up there. And then when we go down here to the bottom here, we have got more deer. And so this container right here is all full of deer. These are the remainder of our hamburger patties. Um, in the back is deer burger. In the front, I have a few of the Adele's meatballs left. So this is what we've got. You guys can probably see why I want to do a pantry freezer challenge again this month. And so I'm going to head shopping. I wanted to show you guys what everything looked like before I went. So I'll see you guys in a little bit.
everyone, here I am back from the store. So let's go ahead and talk about what I bought. So I did go ahead and buy some soda. I told you guys I was gonna buy some soda. I still have over two 12 packs, about two and a half 12 packs, but I don't like to pay full price for soda. And with the zeros being hard to find, um, I like to get them when I can find them. As I showed you guys on the shelf, there was no Pepsi Zero at all. And I do love the uh, vanilla. It's my favorite. So I got two of those. And my kids really like the Coke Zero Cherry. So I grabbed one of those. And those were $4.88 a, $4 a piece. They were not as good of a sell as the Pepsi. But like I said, there was no Pepsi Zero. So I couldn't get that. Then I went ahead and got two gallons of milk. And I didn't see till just now they had different dates, but that's absolutely fine. They were on sale and I had to buy two. The whole milk was not on sale, so I went with the 2%. And then for meal plan, I needed some water chestnuts. I'm going to be making a broccoli salad. This is my Grandma Marlene's recipe. The kids absolutely love it, so do I. We're going to try to make a smaller batch since my husband is out of town working. Then we got a jar of the queso. They didn't have the big jar, so I got the little jar. We are doing Taco Tuesday, so we need some queso. We're also run, running low on the Taco Bell hot sauce, and they had some, so I grabbed some of that. Then for our dinner this evening, we needed some provolone cheese. We are going to be making Salisbury steaks this evening, and I have done a cook with me on that previously, so if you're interested in seeing that, um, go to that video and check it out and then we are going to be doing my son and I are going to be doing lasagna this week so I grabbed some Texas toast with garlic I bought some cottage cheese for myself to eat throughout the week and then I did get quite a few veggies especially considering that it's just my son and I we are going to eat one of the salad kits tonight. I'm going to let them pick which one we want to do tonight. I was thinking the Caesar to go with the lasagna and my daughter does like the sunflower crunch. So she might want that one with me. If for some reason we don't eat it, we've got plenty of stuff. Now I just looked and I am missing a head of lettuce. I put one back, but I'm missing iceberg lettuce. I'm miss missing mushrooms. Oh my goodness. So I'm missing my hothouse cucumber. And I just realized, I'm like, wait, that's not all the produce I got. So let's go through this really quick. I'll call the store. So I got a pack of romaine hearts. Like I said, I also got a thing of iceberg lettuce. If you hear something in the background, it's the washing machine. And I believe my son loaded it. So heaven knows only what's in there. Then I got some tomatoes. I got the hothouse tomatoes to slice up. And then I also got the grape tomatoes. I got three onions. We need two of those for a recipe tonight. One I just like to have in the produce area of my kitchen. I got an avocado for Taco Tuesday. I got myself a couple bananas and I did get myself a pineapple. Then like I told you guys, I got two salad kits. I was only gonna get one since I got the lettuce, but they were on sale and they actually had the sunflower crunch, which is my favorite. If you guys haven't had this one before, I think it's delicious. It doesn't make a whole bunch. And sometimes when I take it to work, I will turn it into two meals and I'll add chicken to it. And it's absolutely delicious. Then I got an ultimate Caesar. Then I got two red bell peppers. And I will put the prices on all of this stuff. I think that's all the produce. Now I'm all thrown off my game since I'm missing a bag of produce, obviously. Then one thing I noticed when I did look at the pantry and the freezers refrigerators with you guys was that I really didn't have much ground beef so I decided to go ahead and do a little bit of stockpile on that I know I'm doing the pantry challenge but this is one thing that we use every single week and it was an okay price it was $3.59 a pound so I got three of them I got one that's $12.10 I got one that's $14.86 and then I got one that's $12.58 then we get into the treat section my kids actually my daughter asked for a pack of Oreos so I had called them on the phone to see what they wanted these were on sale when you bought two you got two for dollar ninety nine so my daughter got the golden Oreos my son got the fudge covered nutter butters then these gluten-free Oreos this is for my daughter's friend who lives in the same town as her and they have way more shopping than we do however they haven't been able to find the gluten-free Oreos so I picked those up for her and then we are going to be doing some um, meatball sandwiches tomorrow to go along with that broccoli salad. So I grabbed some of the Sara Lee Artigiano, um sausage rolls. They're absolutely delicious. And I showed you guys, I couldn't resist on this, um, five for five for the Chex Mix. Savory is everybody's favorite. So I got three of those. And this one is a cheddar. 
And that one is an original. I guess I should say bold is the favorite. They're all savory, I just realized. So three bold, one cheddar, one original. And I spent $110.57. Okay, everyone, as promised, here is my meal plan for the week. Today we did Salisbury steak and potatoes. Um, the kids did mashed potatoes. I actually did cauliflower rice with mine, and it was absolutely delicious. Tomorrow we're going to be doing meatball subs and broccoli salad. The broccoli salad recipe is a recipe that is passed down from my grandma Marlene. On Monday we'll be doing leftovers. On Tuesday we'll be doing tacos. On Wednesday, we're doing lasagna, salad, and garlic bread. This is just a small frozen lasagna. It's just my son and I this week. On Thursday, we're going to be doing uh, fish patties or fish sticks or whatever you want to call them, mac and cheese and tater tots. You'll notice we've got very easy meals, and that's because it's just my son and I this week. And then on Friday, we'll do some leftovers. Then my son will be gone for the weekend as well, so that leaves me here. So the weekend is going to be clean out the fridge. Um, there are certain things on here that I'm going to try to make just what we're going to eat. So for the fish and the tater tots, I don't want to have any leftovers from that and we will just go from there. But that is what my meal plan is for the next week. Mm -hmm.